Good afternoon. Welcome to Christian Women in Media by Prayer Time. I am out of town, but wanted to make sure that I kept my commitment to this time of prayer. Praying for you in whatever situation, whatever time zone you are in. I am here lifting you up in this time of prayer. I am out of town and for a home going as we call it in our culture and so i wanted to take this time not to stray away from that feeling of loss but to address it in in this time so many of us have lost somebody whether it's through covid it's um, one of the matriarchs in our family in my husband on my husband's side of the family who is 89 she's already lost her daughter so it's her granddaughter that is doing the has, been, has done the arrangements for both her mother and grandmother. So a very um, gathering time uh, as we remember, as we celebrate. But also I wanted to use this time to uh, lift you all up in prayer. Those of you that have lost somebody, let's address that together in prayer. Let's address um, the grieving process. And as I lift up at you, as I've done um, so many times before, we know that there's still uh, members being with COVID. I've just uh, recovered myself from um, vertigo. So I know that, there, that, that this is a recovery time, as well as a busy time, as well as a planning time, because we are multifaceted, multi-talented women. So I just want to remind you of the scripture, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 4 and 5. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing. And as many as you know, hello Miss Leader, as many as, as you know that uh, this new norm has caused many of us not to be able to embrace. And so in that this is a gathering time for us as a family, and wearing masks, we will be embracing like never before. But as we mourn, there are the different, I want to remind you of the different grieving stages. There's the anger, there's the frustration, there's the questioning of why, there is the um, denial, there is the bitterness, and, and, and then there is the fear. And so those seven different stages uh, affect us differently, each person differently. And, uh, it is we have to go through them there is the rejoicing because she was a christian she was the nature of the family so there is that rejoicing but there is that time of remembering and that's why there's a time to weep a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance and i'm sure we'll do all of those in the midst of this time together and so i just want to remind you all that in this time of prayer that you must take the time to look at what part of the grieving stage you're at and take the time to embrace that. Take the time to heal. Take the time to find members that you can um, release, talk to, express how you're feeling. I think so many times we don't express it, we hide it because uh, we don't know what to say. Even with somebody that's grieving, we don't know what to say to them. And that's when I think of Joe's friends who couldn't understand once they were critical, there's parts where they were critical and then there's times where they just sat and be still with him. And I call that being present, being present for your friends. Uh, yes, we critique, yes, we don't understand, yes, we, um, we annihilate them, we put them down, but, but being present, just sitting still, holding their hands, just letting them know, okay, I'm here. You don't have to say anything, I'm here. I've done that for friends and I've asked friends to do that for me. So let's just pray in this time that you've joined us right here on uh, Christian Women in Media. I think all my friends are coming on that are not media friends but they are coming on. So Father, in this time, we just lift up those that are grieving. We lift up those that are mourning. Let them have a time to laugh. Hello, Lizette. Let them have a time to laugh. Let them know that in the morning that there is joy. M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. In the morning, in the grieving, in the weeping process, there will be a time of joy. There will be a time of dance. Dancing it means music. There will be a time of music. Music brings healing. We'll be singing old hymns, and, that, and I'm sure that will bring healing to many. And uh, those that are mature, it will be an anthem for us to stand and feel the strength of the Lord again on his word. I pray for those of you that are taking care 
of family members. You are the carers. I speak a time to embrace. People will embrace you. You will embrace. There's that touch of caring that comes and that is needed. And I pray that you will not only give that touch, you will be the carers, but you will receive that touch, that touch of caring. I pray, Lord, that um, this will be a time of gathering. In time of grieving, we will gather. We will find um, family members together with. And I thank all for technology, that technology can enable us to gather through the screen, weep through the screen, dance through the screen, enjoy life through the screen. And I pray, Lord, that that will resound today in the name of Jesus and throughout the lives of hope, those that are grieving, those that are the carers, those that are mourning, those that have lost. Father God, I pray that precious song, precious memories, how they linger, how they ever flood my song. I pray, Lord, that precious memories flood and heal. Precious memories cause us to embrace the, the atmosphere of when we feel the love of our family members and the love of our friends. I thank you, Father, for the healing that is taking place, the healing that will take place, the process of healing. Oh, Father, I speak that again. The process of healing, embracing of what you are doing and what you're releasing. I pray you all be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that you stand in his strength and upon his word in the name of Jesus. I thank you today, Lord, for those that you will make whole again in this time of grieving, in this time of healing, in this time of being the one that will stretch out their hands to help those heal in the name of Jesus. Thank you for joining me right here on Christian Women in Media, our live prayer time at noon. We will meet again on Thursday on the phone, those of you that are members. You can join the members at prayer call every Thursday. We've been doing this now for over 20 years. And this is our 20th year celebration of Christian Women in Media. Our international conference will be November the 1st and 2nd in Fort Worth. It's going to be amazing. We're working on some great lineups. And if you've never been to one of our media conferences, um, there is the pouring out, the training, the networking, the sharing of technology and information, sharpening the tools. And, and creating long-term friendships. We are a community of women in all facets of media. And then every third Thursday of the month, we're either meeting in person or we are meeting by Zoom. And next month in March, we are meeting in person in our different cities. We're so thankful for the lifting of um, the CDC regulations that we're looking forward to more than eight cities gathering next month. God bless you. Thank you for this time. Thank you for joining me right here on Christian Women in Media. I look forward to always being and standing with you in prayer. God bless you. Thank you now. Yes. Oh, yes, you must come, Lizette. You must come. They're an amazing bunch of ladies. And it's all the way in November. So if you come for our conference, just stay over. All right. Bye now.